Victoria Pilsen, the uh, Czech supermodel. <laughs> How's he called? <laughs> well, we have some lovely girls behind us. This photograph was taken in 1970. It's a class of girls from Liverpool and they found themselves in the headlines. They'd started at a girls' grammar but soon had to have lessons with boys. That was uh, due to the changes to the education system. Now, critics said that the boys would be too much of a distraction from their studies. Were they right? Well, this week, the girls got together again, now women, of course, to create an old photograph at the school, which is now called Calderstones. As Judy Hobson reports. This photo was taken 43 years ago for a local newspaper. Now the ladies are back for another snapshot on the same spot. Some hadn't been here since the original had been taken. And we most of us recognised each other almost immediately, even though, personally, I haven't been in touch with many of them for many years. They brought with them memories and memorabilia. Oh, how to lay a tray for afternoon tea. The girls started Calder High School in 1963, a girls' grammar. A short time later, it became Quarry Bank Comprehensive, after merging with two schools boys' schools. A lot of parents were very worried that the boys would distract us from our studies. But what we did discover, we had access to other subjects because we were merged with the boys. We had a bigger sixth form. They had fantastic teachers in economics, which we couldn't have done before in the girls' school. The girls grabbed the headlines because more than half went to university, apparently silencing those who didn't agree with co-education. These were changing times. Only 20% of the girls stayed in Liverpool. More than a third didn't have children. We were coming into the late 1960s, early 70s, when women's rights and freedoms were coming. And I think many of us um, were starting to realise that there was something that women could do in the future and achieve. As for their school days, current pupils were given the chance to find out more. <laughs> that was an exciting moment. But the windows were very high, so the boys couldn't see in. Like our policies now are a bit more lenient, like our policy on skates, is it just got to be black? Yeah, just got to be Not black. like with tape measures and all sorts, yeah. yeah. Before they left, there was just enough time for one last photo. Judy Hobson, BBC Northwest Tonight, Liverpool.